Hey guys, this video um, is for anybody who want to hook up a uh, boost gauge and the OBD2 reader in a uh, 2013 E70 uh, X5 35i. Um, I didn't find anything online, so I figured I'd make one. Um, the OBD2 reader um, is mounted here. Uh, it goes right around the side here, and I took this panel out. There should be gaps in between here. That's just stuff with the stuffing. You just take the stuffing out. The wires will go right along the side here, all the way down. And you can take this plastic piece off and it'll shove inside the dash here. Goes all the way down. Um, I stuck it right in between here. You can pull this out a little bit and it slides right in here and then it gets really loose. You can move it back and forth, see? And then for the boost gauge, I'll show you guys. The vacuum tap is right there. You can see it going into that hole. There's that hole right there. It's blank. Usually nothing is there. I don't know if it'll focus or not. There we go. Usually it's blank. There's nothing there. You could put a drill through that and it'll pop out on the other side um, of the firewall. Just make sure you don't drill too far out or else you'll hit the brake booster. Um, but that's all for the boost uh, pressure. As for the OBD2, see it's plugged in right here. Um, it's plugged in right here. It'll go around here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do this. It'll go around here um, and right up here through here. Same with the boost gauge. Everything will come down here through the side. And it's loose, it'll come through once you get it popped through there. Um, let me see here. For the boost tab up front. And I didn't find anything online for this either. It will go right here, the tap. And you'll have to buy this adapter piece. Right here, this black piece adapter will go right there. The vacuum lines will go will plug in right there. And what I did was I routed it through the side here. You can see it right there. I drilled a little tiny hole right there for it to go through. And it went right through in there on the side here. Right through there, you can kind of see it right there. And it goes behind the brake booster and down. Um, there's a rubber garment in there. I haven't removed this yet, but uh, you get the idea. And once you remove this and you look down there, it's pretty much self-explanatory. If you drill that hole, um, down here big enough if you drill this hole big enough sorry um, if you drill that hole big enough you can just feed the wire right through and grab it right on the other side just make sure if you drill it out you don't hit the brake booster if your drill bit is too long you hit that brake booster and then cause yourself a whole bunch of trouble but uh, yeah that's it for now I couldn't find anything online so I just figured I'd make one to help you guys out